All right, so today you guys are going to learn how to do some very simple tracing using straight lines in Illustrator. All right, so you should download the Straight Lines Illustrator Practice file from Canvas and save it somewhere on your computer, making sure your name is in the title. Then you're gonna open Illustrator and then open that file. So here we go. All right, here it is. On the right side of your screen, you're going to click to open your layers panel. Okay, so that is this guy right here. These are your layers. Then you're going to make a new layer by clicking this button. Okay, now we've got layer one and layer two. Um, let's call this original. And let's call this trace. Just so we can kind of keep track of which is which. All right. Now we're going to click on stroke. So that's the square that just has an outline and then we're going to click on the box that says color. Then we're going to choose a color that is bright and easily seen such as red, blue, or lime green. So basically what we're doing is picking a stroke. So we've got stroke right here and we're gonna double click and we're gonna pick a color. Let's go with this lime green because it'll show up really well. Then we're going to click on the solid square that says fill. So that's gonna be this guy. And we wanna turn our fill off. So we're gonna find which tiny box says none when you hover your mouse over it and then we're gonna click on it. So yeah, fill. And then which one says none? Not this one, not this one, here it is. All right, so we have our stroke green and our fill is none, nice. Now we are going to click on the pen tool and we've got to make sure that layer two is selected. Okay, so yep, this is our layer two. This is our layer that we want to trace on, so we are good. Now we're going to click on the pen tool and start tracing over the lines in each drawing. And we want to break each object down into simple shapes and trace over each one at a time. Okay, so here we go, pen tool, and then don't forget to zoom in. You can do control plus, or if you're on a Mac, it's command plus, and you wanna break this down. So we're just going to do this one shape in here. So I'm going to start here, and I'm just going to click once per corner. And then when I get really close, I want to make sure that that little circle appears. There it is. All right, now that one's finished. Now I'm going to move on and do the next one. And you want to start like not immediately on top of it, but go a little bit away. So I'm going to go and do this one next. And again, I'm only clicking on the corners and that's it. And now I'm going to go and do the next one clicking only on the corners, and that is it. So you would continue this until every single shape has been traced. Now, when you get down to things like the eyes, instead of going around the whole eye, I'm gonna recommend that you break it down again into separate shapes. So I'm gonna do the, I guess it's iris slash pupil as one separate object. And then watch how I do the rest of the eye. I kind of go around it. And for right now, that's going to be the best way of doing this. So you don't have to deal with anything weird going on with overlap. So that's how we would do it. All right. So once you've traced over all the shapes in the drawing, you are going to fill them in. So it might take you a little while and that's totally okay. So when it's time, you're gonna click on the black cursor symbol in your toolbar. This is called the selection tool. So it's this guy. And then you're going to click on the outline path of one of your shapes. So let's go ahead, let's do the inner eye first, okay? Then we're going to click on the fill. And then we're going to change the fill to a color and then pick any color that we want. So here we go, fill, color. And I'm gonna recommend double clicking 
so that way you can grab that slider and then your color picker. That looks really nice. Um, and then at this point, if you would want to change your stroke to something more normal, like black or turn it off, you definitely can do it too. But when you're finished, you're going to go through and change the fill for all of these. Let's say maybe I want a darker blue. Yeah, very nice. When you're finished, your entire wolf should be colored in. And it's up to you. You can do it kind of fancy or you can do it very simply. Um, whatever you want to do is great.